I'm Jilly Dreadful, and let's talk about the Gemini 2 palette. So I'm Jilly Dreadful, and I know I already said that, but before I forget, if at any point you're enjoying this video, please feel free to hit that like button. It's a free way you can help me out, and I really appreciate it. And if you like my face and want to see it again, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. <laughs> not for dinner. Not, not like, not like, I know I'm a Hannibal fan. Well, next time bring your wife. I'd love to have you both for dinner. Thank you. But not like that. I apologize in advance if you hear just like life sounds in the background. My son is playing Minecraft on his laptop right over here. And uh, he's being pretty quiet and pretty considerate during filming. So if there's any major issues, obviously I'll edit around it. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how the Gemini 2 performed and also show you of it in action along with a ton of swatch comparisons to other palettes that kind of reminded me of similar color stories. She's feeling feisty and not in the mood. Does anyone else find the blurbs a little bit embarrassing? I kind of do. Anyway, in this eye look I used six out of the ten shades and they blended really well. I didn't use any of the shimmers. The shimmers are a little bit um, muted. They're more of a satin sheen. I'm just used to shimmers that I guess are a little bit lighter and a little bit more foily, foiled, foily, shimmery. I like the combination of the peachy pinks with the grungy greens. I think that that's a really cool idea. Unfortunately, I kind of think maybe the Meet Me in the Underworld did it just a little bit better. I tend to like the shimmers in this palette a lot more than the shimmers in the Gemini 2. On the eye, I found that Bella and Ladylike looked exactly the same. Like, I can't really tell the difference on my eye. I can tell the difference in the swatches and obviously in the pan. Of the three green shades in the palette, Almond Eyes is the prettiest one in my opinion and likely the one I'll use the most. Boy Mom is just a little bit too charcoal leaning uh, to be anything other than like a deepening up shade for me. While blending the eyeshadow on my lid, I didn't notice any issues with patchiness or that thing that happens when uh, sometimes in other palettes where you layer the shadows on them and then they start to like rub away. Hi, bald. None of that weird balding happened either. So this palette is $58, but this last weekend Mel offered a bundle with the Gemini and the Gemini 2 uh, for $100, and they also offered a coupon code SHMOOD20 for an extra 20% off, bringing it down to 80, and it was free shipping, and the shipping was really fast. I ordered this on Monday, and it arrived on Saturday, so it arrived today. <laughs> arrived. A few minutes before I started filming, I, I I woke up and started filming. But with the bundle, the issues that I have with the Gemini 2, where like I wish there were more poppy shimmers, I get the more poppy shimmers in the Gemini palette with Gemini and Goals. So if I wanted to add shimmer to this look, it would be really easy. I it's not it's not really that big of an issue. All right, so let's get into the live action demo of Gemini 2 on my face. Okay, so I'm going to try to just speed through this demo um because it was about 6 minutes 
on my first rough cut and a lot of it was not talking because I had to try to be quiet because my family was sleeping in the other room. So I started out with Bella all over the lid and I blended that out for quite a while and it blended really nicely. I then took Almond Eyes, the green, which might seem a little strange, but I wanted a grungy crease shade and I just used that to define the crease and they blended together really nicely and I got a really cool shadow there. Next I took Lovesick on an angled eyeliner brush because I wanted to create a winged eyeliner but use eyeshadow to do, to do it. Hello! And in order to do this, I stamped Lovesick along my upper lash line. And in order to create the wing shape, I then followed my lower lash line in an upward trajectory. And I did that because I have slightly downturned eyes and so it makes it a little bit hard to make a wing shape on my eyes and so I find that following the lower lash line and winging it upward creates a nice cat-like uh, eye shape that I'm looking for. I then wanted to add some depth and dimension to the outer half of my eye and so I used Sweetheart to do that. I then took Ladylike and used that to blend into Sweetheart, but I focused it mostly on the middle of my eyelid. I then went back in with Bella and I wanted that to blend into Ladylike and take up the first third of my eyeshadow look but as you might notice as I put on the screen I still can't tell Bella and Ladylike apart when they're on my actual eyelids. Finally to really deepen up the outer corner I took LX Queen and I really just made a triangle shape and let that create sort of an ombre effect in the outer corner. I ran Sweetheart along the length of my lower lash line and I made sure not to blow it out too much. Then I refocused my angled eyeliner brush on Lovesick and built up the lash line and lower lash line just to define them a little bit more and so that the red would pop. Okay, I'm going to put on some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's the finished look. So here's a close-up. Let's see. Okay, so here are the swatches. Bella, Ladylike, Sweetheart, Hemelas, Lovesick, Schmood, LX Queen, Matteo, Boy Mum, Almond Eyes. Okay, so these are comparison swatches with Meet Me in the Underworld. This is Myth, Melody, Snakebite, Tragic Love, Lear, Hades, Enchanted, Underworld, and Woodland. Okay, so here is the Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. As you can see, it's not very similar at all. Kaleidos Flower Punk. We've got Peach Soju, Nouveau, Sun Gazer, 
and Earthship. Here are some Moonspell Volume 1 comparisons. Winifred, Samantha, Mary, Kiki, and Marnie. This might seem like a random comparison, but these are the Nabla Dreamy Volume 1 swatches in comparisons. And so this is Vanitas, Sistina, Rose Gold, Metal Cupid, Senorita, and Dogma. So if you were interested in the palette but maybe you wanted more shimmers and you had something green already in your collection this could be an option. Okay so this is Odin's Eye Alpha, Jasmine, Morning Glory, Peony, Cherry Blossom, and Coffee Bean. Sorry my skin is getting a little bit stained. This is a little bit of another curveball. This is the Avocado Toast Palette by BH Cosmetics. Over Easy, Pink Salt, Paprika, Expensive, Pit, Spicy, Holy Moly, and Superfood. And finally, the two Gemini palettes swatched together. Luna, Gemini, Lorelei, Polka Dot, Cupcake, Bonnie, Leo, Goals, Fire OG, and Mochi. So my final thoughts on the Gemini 2. I'm very inspired by this color story. I think it's, like I said, for the Meet Me in the Underworld. This is a really cool, like, spring color story in my mind because of the mix of the reds and the greens, it didn't really strike me as a fall palette. Like a lot of people were saying they would want to use this for the fall. It red springed me and you can still use it in the fall. But I loved the combination. It felt like the earth coming alive to me. And I get the same feeling from the Gemini 2 palette. Like I said, it's the shimmers for me in this palette. I don't know if I'll necessarily use them as much as I have used the shimmers in the Meet Me in the Underworld. I think I like the Meet Me in the Underworld palette better than the Gemini 2, but the problem with, you know, the Meet Me in the Underworld perhaps is that it is from an even smaller indie brand and it's a UK based brand so the shipping can take a while and be kind of expensive although I am happy to report that when I originally bought this last year um, the, the shipping was as much as the palette and they've actually, Lois Cosmetics has actually lowered their shipping. Like they got like enough business where they could uh, lower the shipping costs for customers. So that's a good, that's good news in case you're more interested in the Meet Me in the Underworld palette. I do like the focus on the rosy tones in this. I think that is why I felt drawn to it. And I wanted to try it, even though I already owned Meet Me in the Underworld. It just has a little bit more of, um, like, the soft, like, girly type of tones in it that I was actually in the mood for. Editing Jelly here. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I said that the reds in the Gemini 2 palette um, are really unique because... I can wear them without feeling like I look sick. Like it looks like an eyeshadow look. It doesn't look like I am developing some kind of Victorian malady. Anyway, the reds in this palette are really pretty and work well on the skin without making you look sick. And extra added bonus, I think they make my green eyes pop. Alright, that's all. Okay, so I think that's it for me. 
And if you want to see me do anything with the Gemini palette, the, you know, the relaunched one, uh, I can do a video on that too. Just please leave a comment down below. Uh, I really appreciate it, and if at any point you like this video, please give me a like. It would really help me out, and if you made it this far, you get the extra added bonus. Okay, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Here he goes again. Two-faced bitch. So who are we talking to today? What? Uh-oh, we angered it. So dramatic. Didn't take long to annoy you. Uh, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Whoa, whoa, no one's even attacking you. Why are you getting so defensive, huh? I don't like the way you just looked at me. Pick a personality, you trash. Wow, so you're like literally crazy, aren't you? This is why no one likes you. What kind of fuckery is this? And in case, in case you're morbidly curious, I'm a Cancer, not a Gemini. <laughs>